Hello everybody and welcome to a new series, Napoleon Total War with the Darth Mod. So, we're going to do a Darth Mod campaign, we're going to do a Sweden campaign, we're going to go hard difficulty, world domination, let's go! So the game plan will be... Your first priority should be to use your strong standing army and navy to secure territory along the Baltic Sea coast. Yes, my strong... Wait. Yes, definitely. Strong. I have some units here. I have some units here. So, first things we're gonna do... We're just going to move this army over here. We're going to get... A... Break, because it's cheap. We're going to upgrade commercial port. And we're going to build this. We're going to get some infrastructure going. And we're, we're going to start building an army ASAP. Oh, and I probably should have checked about... Oh, yeah, okay. That also works. Get paid to do a trade agreement. I'll take it. But Denmark is a serious threat. Especially since... Our trade port, our main trade port, is right next to where Denmark is. So quick, we're going to quickly get into this campaign. Get our economy going. Get an army going ASAP, that's the game plan. And if Denmark declares war, we're going to try and go north. Oh, nice. He's useless. Oh, and remi that reminds me. Will we search national debt? You'll go in there. You will march over there. Next turn, that'll be done. Mm. We won't bother upgra upgrading them just yet. Got free cannon. Free cannon or free horses and some more infantry. You gotta get an army going. That's my main concern. I wanna have two armies so that we have one army that can protect against Denmark near our main trade port. And I want one army which can attack Norway if they attack over here that's basically our goal but of course I pray that Denmark won't declare war for a while where war would be problematic for me at this stage Okay, we'll enter war on the side of the ally because, well, we're allied. Ah, Spain is, has declared war against us. That makes me sad. Okay, get them. Continue marching these guys down there. Uh, recruited general here as well. Shetil. And we're going to have to recruit a bunch of line infantry. What can we do in terms of taxes? Eh, they'll still be happy. That increases our income. Eh, they won't be happy. That's 3,405. Yes. It's going to be some heavy taxes until I can uh, get my armies going. And turn. I have, after all, two armies I need to build. The one for Norway can be a bit smaller than the one for defending, since I believe, don't quote me on this, however, that in Norway you can only recruit na um, militia. I might be wrong, however, but we will see. Now 
We will all see in due time. Okay, you are there. Uh, you guys disembark. We need to get six line infantry for him. And this army still needs its line infantry, of course. Let's take a look at Denmark. Let's request trade agreement and access is a symbol we'll give them some um, oops we'll give them some military access to hopefully make them a bit happier they're indifferent to me right now excellent how much is yeah we're making a bit more money every gold in our coffer helps Every piece of gold, I mean, to be more exact. I do fear for the Dan... I am still afraid of the Danish, though. They're a lot mightier than me at this current stage. I believe. I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, we gave the military access. Whew! I got a slight heart attack. But we're good, we're good. I'm not gonna worry about a navy just yet. But that's something I am going to have to start to worry about sooner rather than later. Alliance broken with Russia. Ooh. Basic rose. Ah, right. That reminds me here as well. Uh, did I accidentally make militia? Oh, militia might be useful later. Move you free over there already. And let's end the turn yet again. I really do hope that having the Danish be friendly to me, or indifferent at least, that they won't declare war soon. So this first episode is going to hopefully be mainly administrative. We want to get money flowing into the coffers, we want to get two armies going so that we can defend and attack Denmark when the time comes, if the time comes. We were also able to move one of the armies to Russia, or to Finland to defend that if Russia were to attack, which hope I'm hoping won't happen. We're still on quote-unquote good terms, they still have military access, so hopefully That'll keep them happy long enough. Awesome, awesome. Move them over there. Then this army will be fully stocked. Although I'd like another cannon in there, but... Whatever. Let's put more line infantry in the list. And two more needs to be put on the list next turn. And then we'll move uh, the army that's right now in Sweden. We'll move that to where Malmö, to the harbor, which I believe is Malmö. We can double check that, I believe. And then we'll move the other army, we'll move to the Danish border. Or the Norwegian border, to be more exact. And if the Danish dare to do anything, we'll be all set up for an attack. 
or all set up for defending against an attack. Oh, they have quite a f they have quite some armies. But if they declare war on me, they get kicked out, so it isn't a problem for me. Sweden, more units. Ah, oh, nice. Another general is always welcome when the time comes. So, another two. Ah, frigates. Hmm, there's two frigates. In two turns we'll have a commercial port. That's good. That commercial port will give us some more money. After all, I need all the money I can get. Uh, nah. I won't join any war now. Especially not to th against the Swiss. What did the Swiss ever do to you? Right? They've never done me anything. So I'll remain friendly with the Swiss. Well, peaceful. Uh, the Danish fleet, as long as it sails away from the Baltic rather than inside the Baltic, I'm happy. Since in the Baltic they can be a threat to me. But outside the Baltic, they can't. So, that's the way I see it at least. Nice. That army is full. We're making 1090, which isn't a lot. But we are at least making money. And I think we shall upgrade this in preparation of building ships. But before we can properly build ships, I think we're gonna have to expand, get more territory so that we get more income. I don't think we'll get enough income just by having uh, the two territories of Finland and Sweden. Also, we've taxed our citizens ridiculously high, so... I'd like to lower that those taxes as well. And one way we're going to do that is by liberating Norway. Well, I say liberating, taking the Norway under control. Bastards. Okay, we're calling our allies, I refused. And there comes the army out of Nor Norway. Or a army out of Norway at least. Wait, they don't get kicked out of... Son of a... I, I thought they would get kicked out. Okay, well good thing we got that army finished. Hmm... Can we request alliance? Oh. Okay, let's get this army moving. Marsh. 
Okay, let's see. Can we get any trade deals with anyone else? No. But we are in the black. We're making money still. Barely any money, but barely any money is a lot better than no money. And as soon as that second army, the defense army has joined, we can march on to Norway. And after marching on to Norway, we might march on to Denmark. I am disappointed, however, that Denmark did declare war. And what did we ever do to deserve this? We're good people, okay? I wouldn't hurt a fly. We could actually do launch two simultaneous offensives. One against Schopenhavn, Denmark, and one against Christiania. Hmm? We'll see. We'll see when that uh, second army arrives in two turns. Are they going to attack? No, they're not going to attack. Okay, and they're leaving. Okay. Let's see, so here there's a bunch of line infantry. And here there's some line infantry and some militia. We could take this, attack first. Let's see. Militia, line infantry. Yeah, let's do that. And we're going to attack the militia. Okay, that's still quite a bit of line infantry. Okay, let's attack. Oh, and I forgot to check for their cannon. Whatever. So, reinforcements are coming on our left flank. We need to remember that. And set up accordingly. Some units are masters of... Uh... Okay. Set up the cannon there. Half of our infantry will be on the right flank. The other half will be on the left flank in the kind of... In this shape for the reinforcements. Pop our cavalry here. Actually, we'll pop our cavalry on the right flank. These guys. One on the left. One on the right will do better positioning in a bit. Start battle. Pause. Okay, you go there. You go there. Battlefield to the enemy, flush out hidden units or destroy defenses. Select any unlimbered artillery. You go there. Right click on an area of ground to bomb. And can we see their general? There's the general. Fire at the general. There we go. I think we've all set up. Oh, they're coming from there. Okay, let's reposition a bit. Let's go, you go like that. And you go like that. There we go. Let's see if we can kill the general while we're at it. Unless they go out of range then we shoot their can uh, cavalry freaking general square formation square formation Kill 
Square formation. I also have a ridiculous plan, which is going to weaken my left flank. Are we going to do that, though? Sure. That's going to involve moving you over here. You over here as well. They're going to have to run, though. Will our cannon? Yes. So my goal is basically to shoot the enemy as they get in to reinforce. We can actually move you more like so. And have you be positioned there. Let's place you into square for now. While the other guys enact this ridiculous plan. It severely weakens our left flank though. But this cheesy tactic, and let's admit this is cheesy. Might be able to do a lot of good damage in okay they were completely shattered are oh, they reloading Come on. We have killed their general, sir. Now they Excellent. Break. Uh, fire at your cavalry. Okay, charge into them. Just charge into them. Oh, you can actually shoot at the cavalry from there. Or I mean the cannon. Okay, fire it. Nah, keep up the fire on the cavalry. And as soon as they are in... Officially. They'll get plummeted. Sure, they might do some damage. But not before they totally break. And then the rest of the guys can reload. I did say it was cheesy. Oh, there's a unit of cavalry there. Come on, reload. And now they're in. Beautiful, am I right? Or am I right? Uh, 
there isn't really space for another unit. We'll send him over there anyways, just in case someone breaks. And I also love the fact that the fire goes on to the next unit as well. This is a super cheesy tactic, I'll admit, but hey, if that's what it takes. It's sure to get rid of a lot of their men, which sets things up for the attack for the next for our next army to attack our reinforcements from Sweden. And here we go again. Every time they get like one volley off and then they're broken and then they immediately get out. Is their cannon doing anything by the way? Shoot at their cannon. Destroy their cannon. Their cannon aren't doing anything anyways. It probably doesn't help them either that their general is dead. Ah, there's some Jaegers as well on the way now. Ah, one unit of foot artillery has broken. Ah, they've limbered, limbered up the cannon. Or unlimbered their cannon. Hold your horses. Shoot at those horses. And they got immediately destroyed. Well, I think it's pretty much off official. I'm General Cheese. Yes, they're within range. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, load cannon. Or load ball. Here goes the next group. First some shots from the back. Usually they get one volley off. Nah, general is fine. With this said though, this cheese can be countered if the enemy does move with these forces into the cheese area. Let's place these guys here just as protection. Our units have been thinned by all of this action. Not as much as their units, just look at this slaughter field. But still quite significantly. And of course they're tired, they've been firing for a while now. Ha ha ha, they didn't even get to fire a single shot off. Their maneuvering there meant that they couldn't really do anything. Okay, that's militia. Let's charge into their militia.
war has begun, or the battle has begun, I mean. War has been going on for a while now. Was that all of the reinforcements? I somehow doubt it. But it is entirely possible. Looks like it. And it looks like this will thus be an easy victory, relatively speaking. Hit their light dragoons. This war is off to a good start for us. For us and our cheese tactics. Those are fusiliers, we're not going to charge into their fusiliers. We are, however, going to charge into their cannon. And it does indeed look like that was all of the reinforcements. Just right north. Where did their cannon go? Did their cannon just disappear? What? I swore they were here somewhere. Here they are. Charge into their cavalry. Let's kill those cavalry. Of course, our chiefs only killed about half of their men, but... Or not even half of their men here, so they're gonna still be strong, but... Not as strong as our army that's coming. Come on, hurry up. You're under small arms fire, that's not good. Oh. Reposition yourself and run while you're doing it. Okay, whatever. Leave them be. Our men are running. Let's get... Ah, that was what I was afraid of. That's why I wanted them to reposition. Let's get their cannon now, though. Well, what's remaining of their cannon? It won't be remaining for long, that's for sure. Boom. 30 men remaining. I think our own cavalry is getting hit by our uh, cannon. That's nef definitely not intentional. Too bad about that other cannon and unit being able to run away though. Okay. You run away so that you're out of the field of fire. Oh, and you recovered. That's mil Both of them are militia. We'll hit them in the flank. Actually, not in the flank, in the back.
You two attack those. You attack those. So you two are attacking those. And you are attacking those. And let's hope that this charge will knock them out. And as soon as these are broken, we'll send these two further to them. There we go. Let's knock out those militia. Doing excellent work here. Okay, now we attack those militia. We have our cannon ceasefire for fear of friendly fire. We've already had some friendly fire today with our cavalry and cannon. And boom. Oh yeah. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's charge into that line infantry. Let's change your position. Or formation. Those are militia and those are line infantry. Okay. A correction, the broken line infantry. Oh. They're moving into square formation. We're not going to charge into square. Who is running? Okay. Oh. Okay, let's have all of you guys change formation. And let's have these guys charge into those uh, line infantry. Ah, oh, bollocks. That hurts a bit. But eh, whatever. They've broken. Mission accomplished. And now if you shatter... Beautiful. However, shatter isn't going to be everything. We actually gotta kill most of you guys. Gotta destroy this unit. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. I see these units. Okay, now we charge into those guys. We'll ignore those fusiliers for now. We'll go for the larger group first. Get them, boys. Gonna be some friendly fire here, but. There we go, beautiful. Those militia have broken. Uh, 
Uh, continue the battle, of course. Okay, one goes after those. One goes after those. And one goes after those. I've created massive congestion. Because the AI isn't smart. Whatever. Those guys get to run away then. However, these guys still getting chased chased down. And these guys have chased down one unit. Partially at least. Good first fight. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. The mighty Danish army running away. Close victory. I... I beg to differ. I think this was a rather crushing victory. After all, we had like half the forces in numbers. We also had cheese though. Oh yes. Excellent, but we're going to end episode here. This first episode is a bit longer than what I usually do. So, I hope you all like this, uh, the start of this new series. Leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.